Today's lesson is chapter 5, lesson 10, on pages 361 through 366. Our objective is I can subtract decimals. Vocabulary is inverse operation. Question 1. When subtracting decimals, it is important to remember to line up the blank point. Question 2. Where does your decimal point go in the answer? Okay, here's a video on subtracting decimals. We need to calculate 9.005 minus 3.6, or we could view it as 9 and 5 thousandths minus 3 and 6 tenths. Now, whenever you do a subtracting decimal problems, the most important thing, and this is true when you're adding decimals as well, is you have to line up the decimals. So this is 9, 9.005 minus 3.6. Minus 3.6. So we've lined up the decimals, and now we're ready to subtract. So now we can subtract. So we start up here. We have 5 minus nothing. You can imagine this 3.6, or this 3 and 6 tenths. We could add two zeros right here, and it would be the same thing as 3 and 600 thousandths, which is the same thing as 6 tenths. And when you look at it that way, you say, OK, 5 minus 0 is nothing. And you just write a 5 right there. Or you could have said, if that had nothing there, it would have been 5 minus nothing is 5. Then you have 0 minus 0, which is just 0. And then you have a 0 minus 6. And you can't subtract 6 from 0. So we need to get something into this space right here. And what we essentially are going to do is regroup. We're going to take 1, 1 from the 9. So let's do that. So let's take 1, 1 from the 9. So it becomes an 8. And we need to do something with that 1, 1. We're going to put it in the tenths place. Now remember, 1 whole is equal to 10 tenths. This is the tenths place. So then this will become 10. You know, sometimes it's taught that you're borrowing the 1. But you're really taking it, and you're actually taking 10 from the place to your left. So 1 whole is 10 tenths. We're in the tenths place. So you have 10 minus 6. We switch colors. 10 minus 6 is 4. You have your decimal right there. And then you have 8 minus 3 is 5. So 9.005 minus 3.6 is 5.405. Okay, so let's take a look at that in our book. I'm on page 361. So it walks you through the steps of subtracting decimals here, and in this case, it's 19 and 8 tenths minus 16 and 9 tenths. So first, they had lined them up. They lined up the decimals. That's really important. And you have to make sure that even if there's the digits aren't the same or there's different place values, that those decimals are still lined up. And then they subtract digits in the same place value positions. So sometimes you have to regroup, though. So for example, I'm going to start at the very right, and I'm going to do 8 minus 9. Wait, I can't do 8 minus 9. So I know I have to regroup here. So this is becoming an 8. And I like how he said in the video, we think of it as borrowing, but really what we're doing is taking a 10 from this. Because if you remember when we talked about earlier, about how each place value jumps up 10. It's 10 times greater, right? So going from the tens place to the 1, it's 10 times greater. So I'm taking a 10 away. So this becomes, my 8 becomes 18. Because I added a 10 to it. So now I have 18 minus 9, which is 9. Then I would bring down my decimal, which they already did bring it straight down, and now I have that 8 minus 6, because remember I regrouped part of that. So 8 minus 6 is 2. 1 minus 1 is 0. So our answer here, or our difference, is 2 and 9 tenths. Okay, here's another good example on page 362. So in this case, it's 6 and 3 tenths, and they are subtracting 4 and 78 hundredths. So this is where they have some different digits. So we have to line those up. So we start with the 6 and 3 tenths, and they went ahead and annexed to 0 at the end so that they have the same place value. And then below that we do sub minus 4 and 78 hundredths. Line up those decimals. Don't forget that. So I'm going to start at the very right again. 0 minus 8. I can't do that, so I need to regroup. So my 3 becomes a 2, and I'm taking that 10 because remember each place value 
is 10 times more. So this 0 becomes a 10. Now I have 10 minus 8, which is 2. And now I have 2 minus 7. Oh, I have to regroup again. So my 6 becomes a 5, and I'm taking a 10 away. So now this becomes a 12. So 12 minus 7 is 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. And I bring my decimal straight down. So the difference is 1 and 52 hundredths. Here's an important step, though. Check. So you can use addition, which is the inverse operation. So remember how in division we used multiplication to check our answers because that's the inverse? Well, in subtraction, addition is the inverse. So we can check it by doing our difference that we got, 1 and 52 in 52 hundredths plus 4 in 78 hundredths. You would line those up like we already learned about adding decimals and see if you get 6 and 3 tenths. And if you do, that means that you are correct. Alright, so go ahead and answer these two questions in the form.